Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, a little afternoon baseball on a Tuesday as your Lenore Ryan Bears are going to host the Coker Cobras for the second time this year. Way back in February, feels like forever ago, the Bears opened up their season with a sweep of these Coker Cobras on the 14th. They won both games. The game on the 13th got postponed because of rain. So now, look at us now, three months later, and uh, or two months later, and both teams coming towards the end of their season. The Bears come into today's matchup 21 and 13, 18 and 10 in conference play. That is a new season record for these Bears who have been just playing masterful all season for the Cobras. They come in at 13 and 16, 12 and 11 in conference play. Two teams that have played each other before the first time around for the Bears. They ran away with both matchups, but it was on an ugly day there. And now it's nice and pretty outside. Both of these teams prepared. Lovely Tuesday. We got two seven-inning baseball games on tap today. The first time these teams played, it was a conference matchup. This will go as a non-conference matchup. So this will not affect the conference standings, but it will change their records on some teams. The Cobras trying to look to get close to that 500 mark, and the Bears trying to add on to what was a sweep yesterday of the Limestone Saints, 12 to five and nine to four. Thanks to the first win in that series on Sunday, the Bears broke the record for most conference wins in a season. EJ Rennell had a big day yesterday. We'll definitely hear his name at some point in time today. Hayden Gresham will be the starting pitcher for the Bears. We'll go over the defense. That'll be behind him. Rennell, he's batting leadoff, and he'll be out in center field. Bryce Stober's behind the plate. Matt Mackey, he'll be at first. Nick Clarino's at third. Xander Ferlinda is at shortstop. Connor Smith is your designated hitter. Will Jones is in right field. Mike McHugh is in left field. Wade Kuda is at second base. And that is the defense behind Hayden Gresham. Gets the start today. For Coker, the party will be started off by center fielder Cam Murray. Trying to jump start the game for the Cobras. First pitch is fired in there for a strike. That's just how the Bears like to work. This is a team that has just been... So good all season on the mound at the plate, leading the conference in ERA. They can go out there and have anybody pitch a gym as Murray spoils that one off. That one hits off of a tree in foul territory. Went a little bit of a long way. Bears just trying to keep on adding to what's already been a good start of the year for them. They just want to finish it off the right way. That one's on the inside, able to lay off of it as Murray count goes to one and two now. Murray's a 260 hitter on the season, on base percentage of 398. <laughs> Excuse me, good job for a leadoff hitter. Understands his role and just battles that. That one's a high chopper. It's going to be a tough play because Murray can run. Throw nicely done there by Gresham. Not a panic at all. We've seen pitchers struggle before. They come off that mound with the load on a flat surface and just kind of miss on the target. But Aiden Gresham right there showing that pitchers are athletes too. Gets the first out of the inning. Brings up next Phil Griffer in shortstop. The leading hitter on this team. 340. And he looks at a nice looking strike right there. Around the lower part of the middle of the zone. It's quiet. That one smoked over to third base. Clarino comes up with it. Hot corner makes a nice little play right there. Two up, two down for Gresham. Gresham's one and one on the season. This is only his second start of the year. Seventh appearance overall, 360 ERA. Just adding on to a great team RA, 349, 3.49 ERA for the pitching staff of the Bears. I mean, 
we talk about the four aces they believe they have whenever it's a weekend series, but everybody in this staff can pitch. Everybody's came out, they've done their job, and they've gotten big outs when they've needed it. It's part of the reason why this team is hitting their expectations, but over exceeding others. Discretion fires in the second pitch. That one's low. One ball, one strike, two outs here. On Riley Hall is your left fielder for the Cobras. Senior coming to the end of his career. He fouls this one off at, towards me. Hall coming into today, 290 or 239 hitter. 400 on base percentage, though. Knows how to get on base, and when he does make contact, a lot of doubles. 27 RBIs on the season, so does his part in that part of the order. And then three hole. Looks at another one low. Another thing that he's really good at, part of that high on base percentage. 23 walks. Easily the leader in the team. The next closest would be 19 from Cam Murray. It's a Cobra's team that's on base percentage is 371, so they know how to get on base. Not a lot of pop in this lineup, though. Only 19 home runs on the season. This one's pulled over to first. Mackey, he comes up with the play. Three unassisted. Three up, three down for the Bears. And now they go looking to the, get some runs up on the board at the plate. We'll be back here on the Bear Sports Network. Back here, Anthony Brown with you on the Bear Sports Network, presented by NBA Roofing, bottom half of the first inning. And EJ Rennell is going to start it off. He had a big game in game two. Went four for four, three doubles, and had a home run. His 11th home run on the season, and the Bears had a comeback win over Limestone, nine to four. That you get rewarded. Lead off spot here. Let's see if he can do something that hasn't happened in quite some time. A leadoff home run to start a game by the Bears. Rennell patiently looks at the first pitch low. He's not going to rush anything. Such a patient hitting team. I mean, the Bears can't say enough about what they've done at the plate. It's been really impressive so far this year. And the power. Everybody has power. And this one, he gets under it. That one could have went a long way if he straightens it out. So now Count's sitting at 1-1. One one. Rennell, 331 hitter on the season. OPS is over a thousand. One of four Bears with the OPS over a thousand. Really impressive stuff. 55 home runs as a team, easily leading the conference. That one bounces in short. Garrett Dunn, starting pitcher for the Cobras. He's down in the count, 2-1. Looking for a chance to start his team out on the right foot as the Bears. 1-2-3 on their side. So now the Clovers trying to do the same. Rennell looking to battle back. 
and he sends one out into the right field. Gave it a ride, but this one is going to hang up there. And it's going to be caught out there in right field nice and easy. Just missed. Possibly the first leadoff home run in over six years. But, but instead, we'll move on with the first out of the inning. And that brings up Bryce Stober. Your catcher, 377 average on the season. Twenty-one games played. This will be the twenty-second for the season for him. He's first pitch swinging. Got some speed there from the catcher. Stober, one of the few Bears who gets quality minutes who doesn't have a home run. As this lineup is just littered with different players that can hit home runs all over. A lot of power, but Stober, he can fly. He hits that one over to shortstop. Got to play quickly here. A nice strong throw for the second out of the inning. So just so like that, quickly. The Bears have two outs on their, their self. It's going to be part of six games in three days for the Bears. A lot of baseball is part of the reason we'll have the two games today. That'll be both seven-inning affairs. If you're an athlete, you just love playing your game. And Matt Mackey loves playing baseball like the rest of these Bears at the plate now. He's over at first base. 307 hitter on the season. Mackey's really picked it up of late. I know at the start of the year, he's kind of struggling to find his, find his place, find his bat. He's definitely owning it with his glove out there at first base. The last few weeks, his bat's definitely come along, and he's had some big games. I mean, in the Wingate series last time I was here, he had a couple of towering home runs right there. He looks at a pitch on the outside, but also he just made some big plays with his glove and really starting to come around, starting to see that smile on the face of a lot of these Bears. See if he can put one in the dugout here. And as he drives one out towards right center field, it's going back. It's going to hang up a little bit over at the wall. And a play is made by Murray all the way out at the wall. So a loud third out will end the first. 0-0 zero, zero here on the Bear Sports Network. Kia in Hickory. We want to see you driving a new Kia or hey, a quality pre-owned Kia. We've got a huge selection of new and pre-owned Kias. You got to get to Paramount Kia in Hickory. Highway 70, ParamountKia.com. Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bear Sports Network down through one. Aiden Gresham on the mound looking for his second inning of work. Went one, two, three in the top of the first. Now going to go back in See if you can repeat that performance. As I said, this, this Bears team, they have so many accolades that they've started to accumulate over the season. Um, at the plate, on the mound. It's been a fun season overall, and it's starting to come to an end. Got one more scheduled series, and that'll be a big one between the Newberry Wolves this weekend, who's sitting in second place. Bears looking to try to catch up to some of these teams in the South Atlantic Conference play. Only one more weekend to do it before they go into the conference tournament. Gresham fires a first pitch strike in there. Start off the second inning. That one's taken low by Drew Klausmer. 
Wozner. Redshirt sophomore, listed as a utility player. And he's gonna slice that one foul. Made me have my eyes up as that one came in hot. It's off of a tree. Beautiful weather today. It's about 69 degrees, but my corrections in the 70s, 71. Nice cool breeze. And that one's a pretty pitch, but it just misses. Dugout thought they got it. And instead, this count's going to fall even to two and two. As Klensner, Klausner is able to stay alive. A few hits on him for him on the season. That one's going to be hit over the shortstop for Linda. Takes it in. Nice strong throw. It's Klausner who was moving down the line. But the Bears, not worried, make the play. Bears don the lovely blacks today. Black tops, white bottoms. One in black hat. Coffee coming in and classic gray. Gold trim around the lettering on the chest. That one's taken for a ball. One of the other things this Bears team is pretty good at, and the pitching staff is getting strikeouts all over the lineup. Jackson Williams is at the plate for Coker. And he gets ahead. 2-0 here. Be your right fielder. Correction. Jackson Williams is on deck. This is Cody Hanna at the plate lefty and he looks at another one high that runs his count to three one or three and oh honors your first baseman freshman he's played in 20 games this year 60 plate appearances so that's a good amount Gresham, the four-pitch walk. Puts a runner on first. This Cobra's team doing something they have done well all season. That's just draw walks. 116th walk on the season. Now Jackson Williams. Spoke on him a little earlier, but now here he is at the plate. Gresham looking to find the strike zone again. Goes with the all speed, and that one just slipped out of the hand. Slipped out of the hand, so let's see now. If Gresham can take a chance to gather himself and relocate, that's five straight balls has been thrown. And that one is a pretty looking strike fired in. A big swing from Williams, but a miss. Now the count's even at one and one. Bears are eight and seven at home this year. As good as they've played, they've had some tough battles. A lot of memorable moments though. even at one and one a runner on first and another swing and a miss a check over at first but the throw was on the outside part of the bag if that's on the inner half they add him they had Hannah leaving, leaning, just missed, put it on the wrong side of the bag right there. So he gets a new life over there at first base. Counts one and two at the plate, though. One out here. 
Let's rush him, see if he can lock in. That one's a little high. Run the count even now, two and two. A check over on the runner. And this time, nothing eventful going on. A throw, and that one's on the outside of the plate. So now the count's full. Three balls, two strikes, one out. If you're Hayden Gresham here, you're looking for a big out. Don't want to give up too many runners on base. That's how the trouble starts. After a check on the runner, Gresham now stares down Williams at the plate. Three balls, and then he got two swings and two misses. Out of Williams, let's see what he gets here. And that one's going to be fouled off. Good old fashioned redo. Again, a check on the runner. Show, and that one's driven out towards left field. That's hanging up there. It's back, it's back at the wall, and it's gone. Two-run blast right there by Jackson Williams. Puts the Cobras up two to nothing here in the top of the second. Got a 3-2 pitch he could handle, drove it out of there, and the Cobras get their 20th home run on the season. Big two-run shot out left center field from Jackson Williams, Jr. It is second home run of the season. Puts them ahead. And now Chris Blanco takes one off the shoulder. A little off-speed pitch that got loose. Gresham having a little bit of trouble with his control here in this inning. That'll lead to a quick visit from pitching coach. Try to settle him down as he had a four pitch walk and then got ahead one two on Williams before falling back to a full count. Williams then hits a home run and then hits the first batter after that and Blanco. So before Brian Castillo comes to the plate, we might as well have a quick conversation. Tell him to Focus on his control a little bit and settle down the heart rate. Second start of the season. And while this might be non-conference, it still means something for the Bears. They're trying to just continue winning, continue going on the right path, building on what's been a very successful season for them. Now, after a short discussion, Brian Costello, is up now. And that one will be a check on the runner at first base. Bears team also has a chance to eclipse their the most wins in a single season, Mark. If I'm correct. So 
Another ball down low runs to two and two. Couple looks over. And Gresham now with the big pitch. And that's another one low. Ball behind 3-0. Let's see. Let's see what kind of kind of hearts Gresham has here is he knows he needs a pitch. So let's see if he can find a way to get it. Dug out trying to push him forward. And that one just missed on the inside. Good job right there. Stover trying to get a frame job, but unable to get anything. And a rough second inning. We'll do for that, and we'll go to the bullpen. And we was expected to be a little bit of a bullpen day for the Bears. Coach Ramirez points down to the pen. We'll get the numbers, get stats, see who it is. Aiden Gresham goes one and a third. Bears down two to nothing here on the Bear Sports Network, and we'll be right back. Brett Folk now on the mound. So come into a situation. Two run home run already in the inning for the Cobras. Two runners on, first and second. One out here in Lake Labor at the plate. Brett Folk comes out of the pen, looking to do a little relief here. Bears in trouble situation. Don't want to get too far behind early on in the seven inning game. Lively shows bunt, pulls back for a ball. Counts now one and one. Falk 352 ERA coming into today. His 10th appearance on the season. All of them out of the pen. That's a good looking pitch right there. Low gets the strike call. Lyron didn't like it too much. Ripped over to shortstop for Linda off of his glove. What a play. He doesn't get a glove on that one. It might score a run, but 
Nice diving effort right there. Gets a piece of it. Now loads the bases up as good contact is made at the plate. One out, bases loaded, and the lineup will flip over. It's Cam Murray. Gets his second at bat of the game. Ground out victim is first time up. Let's see what Fault can do here. That one's a good looking pitch right there on the outside part of the plate for a strike. Fault has a nice long stride. Good motion to him. Very confident player. See if the Bears can get some of those big outs they've had all season right now. Bases loaded, one out. Murray pushes the lower body a little bit, but decides not to offer at it. Look back all the way to the beginning of the year. First inning against the Cobras. Bases loaded, no outs. Alex Shirazi is able to get out of it thanks to a 1 2 3 double play. Maybe that Bears got another one here. Another one in them like that. This time Brett Folk on the mound. And he fires in a good looking pitch. Gets ahead now. One and two, one out. Bears actually did that in the first and second inning, so. I haven't seen any other one, two, three double plays turned by the Bears, but they turned two of them in the first game of the season. Let's see if they can do it again here against a familiar opponent. Try to keep this just limited to a two-run inning. As Jackson Williams was able to blast a two-run shot. Now Cam Murray at the plate with the bases loaded, looking to add on to the score. He gets under one, and this one's straight up. It's going to have a play for Stober. It's going to be a little, little bit of a tough one as this one has some spin to it. Mackey calls him off. Almost overran it, but makes the play. And just like that, a foul ball pop out. At least the second out of the inning. Mackey. Good job right there, caught off Stobris. That was a tough play. Just a lot of movement on that pitch. It was hit a mile high. And brings up Phil Griffer. Griffer also grounded out in his first at bat. And now he looks at a first pitch strike as fault. Got the second out here, just one out away from getting out of this inning with little damage done to the Bears. And this one's hit out towards center field. Rennell's gonna get under it, play it nice and easy, and just like that, the Bears get out of this. Bases loaded one out, they don't give up any more runs. But a two-run shot gives the Cobras a two-run lead here at the top of the second on the Bears Sports Network. Nick Clarno 
now at the plate looking to do some damage here try to counteract the two run top of the second by the Cobras Clarendon looks at a first pitch ball notice the new walkout music for Clarendon Clarendon looks at one a little low but takes it for a strike Splits time behind the plate at third base. Either way, good glove out there at the plate. Guaranteed tough at bats. Looking to get the Bears something good here so they can start off their performance. Chased one a little high. All speed pitch. He was able to get his hands around two as that one's in the air pretty high up there. It's going to be a play may out in right field for the first out of the inning. Saw a high off speed pitch. Couldn't lay off of it. Popped it out to right field. So, keeps the line moving now for the Bears. Xander Ferlinda. He'll come up. Xander Ferlinda. He's got a little bit of everything when he's at the plate. Patience, power, speed. He looks at a first pitch strike right there. A little bit up there. Close to the hands. But a very capable hitter of doing whatever you need him to do at the plate. Lay down a bunt, hit a home run, do it all. He looks at a first pitch, ball. That one's going to bounce in. Counts it to two balls, one strike. For Linda. Going to look to get on base here. Put somebody in front of Connor Smith. Try to get the wheels turning in the right direction for the Bears. As he fouls one off. Got to go out into the parking lot. to the count full now. Three balls, two strikes, one out here. And now the pitch. He's going to turn on one and send it over here to third base. Nice tough field of one hopper and it'll be made. Good defensive play right there by the Cobras. Good job. Blanco. Christopher Blanco. It wasn't an easy read. That ball had a lot of top spin on it. He had to make a tough little backhand stab on it, going towards the line, stick his foot and make a strong throw over to get a pretty good runner. And for Linda down there, down the line at first base, second out of the inning, Connor Smith, he'll step up. Just looking to do something here for the Bears. Takes that one up for a strike. No balls, one strikes, two outs here. That one's going to bounce in. A day like this, middle of the week game for the Bears especially. Fifth and sixth game in three days. You're going to rely on your pitching to try to give you length. And Garrett Dunn right now. Trying to finish off his second inning of work. Now no. one is low as well. Now it's two balls, one strike. Smith does a good job of laying off the off speed if he doesn't like it. Left-hander. 
good pop. He gets a decent amount of off-speed pitches. He takes another one low. Three balls, one strike, two outs here. That one's going to be chopped up the middle, a long run, but a good field, a good throw, and a good stretch gets the play. Again, one, two, three, go the Bears in the bottom half of the second here. Good defense from the Cobras, and it's two to nothing. Bears trail here on the Bears Sports Network. Everett Chevrolet Buick GMC is ready for another exciting football season. Everett has been a proud sponsor of the Lenore Ryan Bears for 25 years, and we wish the Bears a safe and successful season. And August means it's all systems go for another winning season with the Carolina Panthers. We have a tradition of winning in the Carolinas, and when you want to be a winner in the car, truck, or SUV game, come see the sales and service champions at Everett, because if you didn't get an Everett deal, you dropped the ball, baby. Woo! I knew that there was an opportunity to have my college paid for if I was good enough to play baseball at that level. That was going to make a big difference in my family. D2 Baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get an education that's going to be valuable for me throughout the rest of my life. I chose to take my experience of being a student athlete and pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bear Sports Network. We're through two, LR, lead, uh, LR down, two to nothing, thanks to a two-run home run by Jackson Williams at the top of the second. Brett Falk, he finished off that second, came in with the bases loaded, or came in runners of person second, gave up a single, bases were loaded, then he got out of it, a couple of big outs. So, very capable pitcher looking to give some length here for the Bears, seven inning affair. Haven't been able to get any hits yet on the offensive side, but made some good contact, and this offense can get clicking at any moment. So pitchers, their job is just to keep it close, not give up runs, and they're going to trust in their bats to do what they're supposed to do. Now that one's a strike on the outer half of the plate. Good looking pitch to get the third in and start it off here. Yeah. Get a swing there, so it runs the count to 0 and 2. Wasn't able to hold up at the plate. Riley Hall. Hits one over. That's going to go off of Falk. Montez comes up with it. Had to try to make a quick play after the hit off of the glove of Falk and wasn't able to get a clean grip on it. Decided not to make the throw over as Hall was moving down the line fairly quickly there. And he gets a hit on a well-placed ball. Just right in the middle of a couple of players. Puts a runner on first. For Drew Klausner. Also got out in his first appearance. Fly out victim. And that one's going to be too far inside. Wild pitch leads to the runner advancing. Falk now take the walk out, try to regather himself and throw some strikes. Something this Bears team has been pretty good at doing all year. Just filling up the strike zone as a team. It just seems like it didn't matter who you threw out there on the mound. They were going to be able to get strikes. Claws in her out. Takes one on the outside. 
It's important for the Bears to not get too far behind us. This is a seven inning game. Cody Hanna on deck. Riley Hall at second base. Two balls, no strikes, no outs here. Barrett Folk looking to battle now. He throws one just a little low. Three balls, no strikes. And now you got to be careful. Pitch on the outside, and that's a four-pitch walk. Klausner will take his base. Runners on first and second, no outs. And again, this is how trouble starts for the Bears. Down two to nothing here. You don't want to be in a situation where you're giving up free passes because those always end up to come back to haunt you. Hana, he was a four-pitch walk guy in his first appearance. Check on the runners. Nothing going on at second base. It's now Brett Falk. Stares down at home plate. He's got Hanna there. A swing and a miss. Getting ahead. Exactly what Falk needed right there. Fell behind on the first two batters of the inning. A little bit of bullpen action starting to get up for the Bears. As game one's expected to be a bullpen game. We'll see who they throw out there for game two. But when you can get any length, you can, you will. Brett Falk right now looking to get some length. Hanna squares around, shows bunt, and that one's low. Falk's gotten wild. One ball, one strike here. Interesting to see how this one to be played out if it's hitting the infield. They're the best to try to turn two at. Nothing going on. A little bit of a stare down at the plate, and time's going to be called. It's a whole lot of nothing happened right there. Next up for the Bears, they'll have Will Jones, Mike McHugh, and Wade Kuda before they flip the lineup over. Looking to get their offense started before they can get to the plate. They're going to have to get out of this situation. Nice pitch on the outside. and Falk's just missing around the plate. He's, he's trying to move it around, but he's just not able to hit his spots a little wide. He's falling behind 2-1. Needs a strike right here. Don't want to fall behind 3-1 with two runners on. Very quality hitter. Hanna's going to show bunt. Let's see if he puts one down. And this one's popped up. What a gift. And it's going to be dropped. And then it's going to be thrown away. Brett Falk right there. Not a pretty moment. This one is going to be ran in by Will Jones as the error. Two errors right there on one play leads to two runs. Not the finest moments right there for Brett Folk. Got a gift popped up to him. Just missed it and then threw the ball away. That led to two runs. Bears now down four to nothing with a runner on third. No outs here. She got no choice but to rally the troops. Get it together and um, try to find a way to get out. Now it's the home run hitter, Jackson Williams, at the plate. He had a long one over the left center field fence. And he looks at a first pitch strike right now if you're Folk. You just want to throw strikes, get out of this inning as fast as you can. Try to make up for what just happened right there. A couple of unearned runs across the plate. That's another good looking strike. 
maybe a little bit of frustration shown off is those last two pitches had a little more steam on them. Williams now down 0-2. He had two strikes in his last at bat before he hit a home run, so got to be careful still. Looking for the first out of the inning. And it's a swing and a miss. Good morning, good evening, and good night. Brett Folk makes up for his two errors right there with a big strikeout. First out of the inning. Brings up Christopher Blanco. He was hit by a pitch in his last at bat. Runner on third. Got to be careful here for a little bit of a squeeze play. Clover still looking to extend their lead. And that's a strike. Red Falk made a mistake, had a couple of errors, so let some runs get across. And since then, four straight strikes. He's ahead 0 and 1 in the count one out here. That one's on the outside. A good looking pitch, but no chase by Blanco. Good discipline by the Cobras. Counts now even one and one. Cody Anas, the runner standing on third base. Pretty good leg, so one on the outfield. Be interested to see if he tests. That one's in the dirt. And Bryce Stover does his job, freshman. Behind the plate, smothers it. Doesn't allow that one to go anywhere, so now the count's two and one. Pitch is on the way, and this one's fouled straight back. Two strikes on Blanco. He's in a big situation here, looking to get a couple of RBI, or get a RBI. Only has three RBIs on the season. Be a nice time to get your fourth one. You got a runner standing out there, one out. A lot of different ways that you can bring that runner in. Not a whole lot of wind. Ball's not carrying too much today. That one's going to be put on play in play. It's going to go to second base. A toss over to first, and a good job right there by the Bears. Don't allow the runner to score. That tipped off of a couple of gloves and. Then Manny Montez able to hang in there. Or correction, Wade Cuda able to hang in there. Make the play. Just toss it over. Second out of the inning. Two outs, runner on third. Two runs scored again here. Bears looking to get out of it. Brian Castillo. He's up. Walked in his first appearance. The catcher did. Got a good eye of the strike zone being behind the plate. So you're going to have to leave it in there. He takes another ball right there. Castillo, like a lot of catchers, very patient. They know where, what looks good, what doesn't. They usually don't chase a lot. I'm going to have to give him something that he thinks pretty good right now. And Folk, unable to get that one as it's a little high. Counts down. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Good job to answer back by Falk after allowing two runs to score. Yeah, he's looking to be a competitor here. And Castillo saw one he liked, got a good swing on it. Nice loud foul ball. And the count's two and one. Bears two strikes away from getting out of this inning. Just a little bit of damage done. But often second explodes like this for the Bears. You just want to make sure you keep it close. Don't want to make too many mistakes. And Costello gets way under this one. This one's going to be left on the infield. Kuda calls everybody off. Going to walk in on it. Makes the play and the Bears get out of the inning. Brett Folk answers back from a couple of mistakes. Gets three straight outs. Bears down four to nothing here, looking to do some damage at the plate on the Bear Sports Network.
Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bears Sports Network. Will Jones at the plate looking to get it started off for the Bears as they're down four to nothing here. And of course, just in time for the Bears to hit the wind. Picks up a little bit. Nice soft gust out into center field. Maybe give the chance for somebody to drive something to get this offense started as they've been just silenced so far. First pitch strike, a good get me over curveball. First strike out there, done. Early on in this matchup has done a heck of a job. Will Jones, Mr. Consistency in this lineup. Nobody on the team has more career multi-hit games. Nobody has more multi-RBI games on the team right now in their career than Will Jones. He's played a lot of baseball for LR. And he's got a really good eye. An extremely confident hitter. And that one's going to be a pitch on the outside. Runs the count now. Three balls, one strike to Jones on the season. 284 hitter. He's got uh, over 100 at bat, so that's a pretty healthy number right there. And he takes one, turns on it. Just turns on a little too much. Absolutely smashed one out into left field. He's got a few home runs in his career. Although Jones does. He has one on the season. 15 RBIs. 29 hits. He just knows how to put the ball in play, knows how to get on base. See what he can do here. Turns on another one, foul. Now the count's full, three and two. Good job by Dunn. Find his way back full in the count. And now Will Jones looking to try to start this off the right way. Payoff pitch. Taken high and that's a Ball four, a lead off walk for Will Jones. Doing what he does best, just keeping the line moving. Bears get their first base runner of the game. Brings up Mike McHugh out there in left field. Another one of those guys for the Bears that they can Give some time to on a day like this when you're trying to rest a few players. Have full confidence he could do some big things. Not afraid to lay down a bunt. And pulls down, pulls back right there for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Will Jones, he can run over there at first base a little bit. So, wouldn't be surprised if the Bears try to get some offense moving here. Mike McHugh, never scared to lay a bunt down and get running. A couple of infield singles on the season. And he takes one in the dirt. Will Jones almost got caught going. A throw behind him. He's able to get his hand back in there safely. So now, after an eventful pitch, we're back to two balls, no strikes. Done. Looking to avoid getting in some trouble here. Something the Bears have done in their couple of innings so far. And now, three balls, no strikes. We're going to take a moment in the middle of the at-bat. Pitching coach for Coker is going to get up and uh, have a quick meeting at the mound. I think he saw some mechanical issues. Nobody warming up in the bullpen for the Cobras. So this is done all the way. It looks like they're finally going to send somebody out there now, get a little bit of action going as Dunn was cruising. Went three up, three down in the first, three up, three down in the second. Lead off walk here in the bottom of the third, and now it's down 3 0 in the second and bat of this inning to Mike McHugh, Wade Kuda sitting on deck, maybe with an opportunity with two runners on to get this line of spark, get it going in the right direction. And the top of the order is about to be on the way. EJ Rennell, he's just a couple spots away from getting his chance to hit in this inning. And the Bears trying to flip it over to him, see if they can. Get a couple runners on, give him another chance to 
bring some runs across. Quick conversation. And we're back into this at bat. And just like that, a strike is fired in there. 3-1 now. No panic in the Bears. Done. Long look. Wind up. Pitch. That one's going to be popped up. It's going to be a difficult one over there in the Bermuda Triangle area. I'm going to be called off by second baseman. Good play made. And in a 3-1 infield pop-up for the first out. Just like a little bit of a miss right there for the Bears. Is you're up 3-0 and get nothing out of it. No advancement of the runner. Just a little bit of an infield pop-up. Good defensive play as that one had some spin on it. Brings up Wade Kuda. Ninth hitter in the lineup. Playing over there at second base. Made a nice play earlier. Had a runner on third with one out. Hit hard at him. He was able to make the play without letting the runner score. I was looking to do something at the plate. He turns on the first pitch he sees. And that one's sent out opposite field. Got some air under it. No tag up and first pitch. There's a pop fly out the right field for the second out of the inning. Flips the lineup over. Bears, let's see if they can do some damage here at the top of the order. EJ Rennell. His last game, four for four. Three doubles and a home run. Took the lead in home runs, actually. His 11th home run on the season. Nobody on the team has more than that. Also leads the team in doubles. It'd be nice to have a nice little shot out into right center or left center right now. Maybe off the wall or even over the wall. Get the Bears started trying to find some juice, find some type of life in that dugout to get these bats going. Done, though. Looking to get out of it. He's ahead 2-0. and Rennell turns on that pitch. It goes foul. EJ Rennell down 0-2. Echo Battle, though. Out of his 124 bats on the season, 125, he's only struck out four, 24 times, so puts the ball in play a lot. Will Jones will take second base uncontested. Take away the force out. Good play right there. And now one in the outfield. Bears could bring across the run as Will Jones runs pretty well. Two outs. He's going to be moving on contact. Let's see if EJ Rennell can do something here. Sits on one and gets under it. Is that one going to stay in play? It's over by the fence. It's over by the fence. It's a tough play. That one had some wicked spin on it late. Hannah was unable to get a clean read on it. First had to run towards the wall. Like a bad hit nine iron. It had some backspin on it. Started to kick back towards fair play. Landed foul. And gives a life to EJ Rennell, who's back at the play. One ball, two strikes, two outs here. Will Jones at second base. Garrett Dunn looking to get out of the third inning clean. Bounces one in there. Good job behind the, behind the plate by Costello. Keeps that in front. Count runs even now. 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second base. Deuces are wild. Let's see if EJ Rennell can make something happen here. Garrett Dunn. Gives a couple of looks. Skips one in. Something the Bears haven't had a chance to do a lot of this year. Just play a lot of baseball in a row. COVID restrictions kind of changed the schedule making. Cut down on the number of games. So you don't get too many opportunities to play six games in three days. Let's see if they can have an answer right now. EJ Rennell gets the walk after being down 0-2. Gets a big walk, keeps the inning going. Brings up Bryce Stober. 
Got to take off the catching gear real quick. And with two outs, the Bears going to extend the inning, looking to make some more noise. Two runners on, a little bit of bullpen activity. Gary Dunn's pitch count starting to get up there now as the Bears have worked them. And that's all it's about. you got to get into the bullpen, see as many arms as you can. Especially when you got a starter that's been rough on you. And Stober, first pitch swing and lines went down to second base, and that's a good play. Ends the inning. Absolutely tattooed that one. That might have been two runs if it gets passed. But it doesn't. And the Bears leave two on. It goes quietly here in the bottom of the third. Down four to nothing on the Bear Sports Network. I love being busy in my garden. I got flowers to plant and beds to clean out. When I was feeling really tired and not like myself, I saw a doctor. Look at me now. The doctors were good. They worked with me and they laughed with me. I'm back to doing everything I love. I needed a doctor and I found the expert for my heart. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bear Sports Network. LR down four to nothing here. Looking for a big time shut out in in here. Try to get back to the bats where they were able to get a couple people on base and try to make some noise. They need something to gain some momentum. Something just to get going in the right direction. Another new pitcher out on the mound for the Bears. Michael Allen. His 12th appearance of the season all out of the pen as well. Very stout. 108. ERA walks hit innings pitched percentage 1.2 as well very efficient work and they're looking for some efficient work here Blake Leibrand now at the plate. He had a single in his first appearance, one that went right off the glove. About the time Brett Falk. And that one's a first pitch ball. Pretty good looking pitch right there by Michael Allen. Just misses on the outside part of the plate. Correction. Leibrand's hit was the one that went off the glove of for Lendo over there at shortstop. He pulls another one over there this time. It'll be taken care of by Clareno. Digs it out. Two pitches, one out. Just like that. Michael Allen has made his appearance known already on the mound. Not the biggest of presences out there on the field, but definitely has a big arm. Can kind of fire it up, get the radar up there a little bit. Got some good off speed. Right-hander that comes out of the pin for the Bears. Very trusted. Key situation, start out innings. Maybe they see if we can get a little length out of them here. So that's the big thing of the day. It's Cam Murray now. First third appearance at the plate. Murray is 0 for 2 so far. One ground out, one fly out. Allen, like kick to pitch. This one's sent out to center field. It's got a little bit of kick to it. It's a long way. It's going back, back, back at the wall. And EJ Rennell makes the play nice and calmly at the warning track 
for a second that one looked like it might have been out of here maybe if he hits it to a slightly different part of the ballpark that's gone but the deepest part of the field holds up and a long second out brings up Phil Griffer also looking for his first hit of the day And this one, Xander Ferlinda makes the play. Three up, three down. Michael Allen does what he does best. Comes in, gets a couple outs, and now the Bears going to try to build on that and make something happen here on the Bears Sports Network. Anthony Brown back here with you. Sorry for the, a little bit more of a delayed break there. As rain starts to fall. And make sure we covered up the equipment. The one's popped out to a short stop. The play is going to be made while the drizzle starts to come down. And that was recorded. Matt Mackey is going. And that brings up... Nick Clarno. Nick Clarno. Got out in his first time up, looking to get a hit here. He rips one right over to third base, and that one's going to be taken care of. Look at what I found. Hot take right there for Blanco. Here's the umbrella. Other camera. You're literally standing in the next to Xander Ferlinda now up at the plate and with two outs here Bears made contact twice They're just looking to make good contact haven't done that a lot today missed on it again as this one's popped up foul will it stay in play but it's going to get out of the ballpark and the rain's coming down Pretty quality right here. Garrett Dunn trying to complete his fourth inning of work. Seven inning contest. It's very important 
good stuff for your, your team if you're able to give length. And that's exactly what he's been able to do. It hasn't really gave the Bears any chance to make any type of noise except for last and You got a couple of runners on. Then for Linda trying to change that, he takes one high. Count runs now one and one. I mean, the best best hit balls by the Bears so far today have all been outs. I mean, there haven't been a lot of good ones. Maybe the last two pitches we've seen that line drive to third base was pretty good. Other than that, it's not a lot going on. Two balls, one strike, two outs here. For Linda, probably the guy you want up in a situation like this team struggling. He's a very, very tough batter. Very tough mindset. He's going to battle. He chops over one. He's coming over to third base. Blanco with a strong throw over, and he makes it. Nice cannon right there. Gets the Bears. One, two, three. Still looking for some offense. Still looking for an answer. Bears down four to nothing here, and they're going to have to keep it right there on the Bear Sports Network. Back here on the Bear Sports Network, and Michael Allen back out for another inning of work here. He's going to face Riley Hall at the plate. Riley Hall takes first pitch ball. Allen trying to do something that the Bears haven't been able to do today, get back-to-back -back shutout innings. It's been a little bit of a challenge. Pitch on the inside, doesn't get any call on it, so the count now runs 2-0. and And that one, a nice looking strike down on the bottom half of the plate. Runs to the count, two balls, one strike, no outs here. Michael Allen, he's got a nice little stance to him when he gets in that stretch. Keeps the glove pretty low. Kind of short arms it on this motion, but very effective. Almost old school catcher-like. Gets up there by the ear and then just fires it in there. Reminds me a little bit of old Cardinals pitcher Jason Mott. This motion, very effective, and it gets on you quickly. Part of the reason why he's had such good success. That one's high, and now the count will run. 
run even now, or run full, three balls, two strikes. Michael Allen, not a guy who walks a lot of people, so you might expect one here to be in the zone. Let's see if Riley Hall is able to make contact or even offer at it. It's Covers, they have four runs on three hits. And this one is smashed out towards center field. It's going back, back. Long way, EJ Rennell, though, again, makes a nice and calm play. He walks onto the Warner track. It's Cobras. They've made some loud contact so far today. Had a big home run and then a few outs that have been just a couple of feet away from being home runs. Riley All did not miss that one by much. Maybe if he, again, just pulls it a little more towards the right field fence. That's Goner. As he hits it to the deepest part of the field and it's unable to get out of here. One out and brings up Klausner now. Counts 1-0, one, oh. one out here. And that's one, a nice swing sent out the left field. But McHugh takes a couple steps to the left. Takes care of that one. Two up, two down in the inning. Fires in a strike on the inner half of the plate. Nothing, nothing to be done right there. So just look at it. It's Cody Hanna. He reached on the error of Brett Fox. He tried to lay a bunt down his last appearance. This one's going to also jam off of his hands. Good catch over there in the dugout. For the Cobras. On that foul ball. So now, no balls, two strikes, two outs. And Michael Allen in a position to get through his second inning. Might see if the Bears lay out a roar here, if he's able to get a strikeout. Try to build some momentum as they're looking for something. Pitch on the way. That swing gets put into play, and that was just lined right between short and third base. Cody Anna gets on base for the second time today, his first hit of the game. Nice approach right there. Stayed through it. Hit that one backside. Right between the five and six. Brings up Jackson Williams. His home run started off the scoring here for the Cobras. Nice big frame. Solid bat. And he hits another one out into center field. This one. A read first outwards and then coming in makes a nice play McHugh cleans it up so another scoreless frame for the Bears and now they're going to try to get the bats going as this one's getting late early seven inning contest Bears down after the top of the fifth four to nothing
Anthony Brown back here with you. Bottom half of the fifth here from the Bear Sports Network presented to you by NBA Roofing. Connor Smith doing his part, trying to see if he can get the Bears started up offensively now. As Garrett Dunn in for another inning of work, fires in a strike. It's a good looking pitch. Ahead in the count. Oh, one. Bears haven't had a hit so far in the game. Connor Smith looking to change that one, and it's a hit right up the middle. First hit of the game for the Bears. Took a while, but Garrett Dunn just showing how much of a good pitch performance he's had today. Got through four innings of the Bears clean. Only one base runner. And after giving up a hit, it looks like they're going to have a pitch and change here. They were just going to let him ride it out until damage was done. A good outing for Garrett Dunn. We're going to get the number of the new pitcher coming in. The final stats on Dunn and let him do his warm-up. We'll be back on the Bear Sports Network. Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bears Sports Network following a leadoff single by Connor Smith. That led us to having Garrett Dunn pulled. Heck of a performance, four innings, only one hit, two walks. It's his final stat line. And it brings up new pitcher. Jonathan Ford, right-hander, making his eighth appearance on the season. The yeah, first batter he'll face will be Will Jones. Will Jones looks at a nice strike right there on the outside part of the plate. Jones got a walk in his first appearance. He was the first base runner for the Bears. Trying to get another one here as they're down four to nothing. Bottom half of the fifth. This is a seventh inning game. Both of the games played today will be seven innings as these teams played a lot of baseball over the weekend trying to save some arms, just but play some ball. And that one, low, runs the count even now, one and one. Will Jones, confident batter, comfortable batter. He's not going to chase anything. Another ball. Will Jones looking for something here. 
turns on one, sends it over to third. That's going to be a hot potato. Swung around, but unable to make a clean exchange, so they'll just take that out at second base on the fielder's choice. Connor Smith will be out. He did his part. He got the first hit, and now brings up Mike McHugh. McHugh steps up now. He looks at an all-speed pitch on the outside. Pop out victim in his first appearance. Kind of felt like he missed on a chance to capitalize even bigger for the Bears. But missed out on it. Check on the runner over at first and Jones. Nothing going on. McHugh, that's a tough off-speed pitch right there. He tried to keep the hands back, see if there's anything he could do with it, but nothing he can do there. Takes the strike, counts now one and one with one out. Jones over at second base, or at first base. He's gonna take off now. And that's a throw, that's an easy one. Well, Jones caught stealing, stole one earlier, but this time, a good throw down there from Ryan Castillo. So he gives a little bit of a wave goodbye. And now on the inside, thank you. Up 3-1, two outs here. Bears just haven't looked like themselves so far today at the plate. It's a team that offensively leading the conference in home runs. Third in batting average. And so far today, they just haven't been able to do anything. A lot of credit to Garrett Dunn. I mean, he had no hit ball through four innings. Just a couple of walks seemed to be the only thing the Bears were able to do positively. And now, McHugh's trying to stay alive. Three balls, two strikes. Bears looking for a big opportunity now to try to restart a rally. And this one, just a soft hit out the shortstop. Comes up throwing, and that one's going to be an out. An unconventional one, two, three inning for the Bears. They're down four to nothing here, going into the top of the six on the Bears Sports Network. A champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you.
Anthony Brown back here with you on the Bears Sports Network. And you've given two good innings so far. Bears looking for a third one now out of Michael Allen. He starts off the top of the sixth inning. Facing off against Christopher Blanco at the plate. Blanco got a walk and is grounded out. And there's a two plate appearances so far today. She was hit by a pitch in his first one. Correction. Catches a piece of that one now. Count runs even to one and one. Blanco, Castillo, and Librand. All guaranteed to see the plate here for the Cobras. This one's also going to get fouled off. Count now goes to one and two. Pitches on the way. And that one just low. Unable to get any type of swing out of him. And this one's hit right back to Allen. He's going to play his position. Flip it over to first base for the first out of the inning. Hello. Again, pitchers are athletes too. They feel their positions. We've seen a few pitchers be able to get involved today. Play some defense and Michael Allen right there. Shot right back at you. Makes the play for the first out. And this one has hit a mile long. And this one is gone out in left field. Brian Castillo did not miss that one. That one was long gone. Not one that he could handle. And boy, did he. There wasn't any drama about that one. One run on the board. And it's a long run. A long run for... Ryan Castillo, the catcher, said he got a pretty good eye out there on the plate. Sees pitches pretty well, being the fact that he knows what the strike zone looks like. He saw one that was looking like a beach ball to him, and he did not miss, did not disappoint. And now Bears down 5 to nothing here. Michael Allen going to rally the troops, look to get back together. This one sent over to third base. Clarino gets the glove down, going to have to make a strong throw. The play is made. Throw is off the bag a little bit, but Matt Mackey, Able to get the tag. Works however you can do it. So still goes 5-3 for the put out. Just required a tag this time instead of touching the bag. And that brings up Cam Murphy, or Murray. He looks at a first pitch strike. And this one's hit out the center field. It's going a long way. Rennell makes a read on it. So, one a long home run off the bat of Brian Castillo. This is the lone run of this inning, lone hit of this inning. Cobras lead five to nothing. Bottom of the six coming up. The Bears need five of them on the Bear Sports Network.
Wade Kuda at the plate now. Bottom half of the sixth inning. Bears down five to nothing here. They haven't been able to do anything at the plate. Haven't been able to get anything going. Five runs on five hits. No errors for the Cobras. Bears no runs. One hit. Two errors. Came on the same play. So really one bad defense to play. But it led to two runs. The two run blast in the top of the second. Jason Williams led the two runs then for the Cobras on the two run error by Brett Falk. That was another two runs in the top of the third. And then the solo shot by Brian Castillo. Top of the sixth, as is where we are now. A lot of zeros on the board for the Bears. An offense that could put up runs, put up 14 of them. And this weekend against the Saints, and even last night, put up six of them in game two. Hasn't been able to really do anything today, but the leader of that offensive outbreak is on deck, and that is EJ Rennell. Wade Kuda just trying to do his part, get the wheels turning, get somebody on base, and uh, just get it going here for the Bears offensively. Has been a lot. And this one's ripped out there. It's going to get over the second baseman's head for the second hit of the game, and Wade Kuda does his job. Gets a hit on the dugout, lets out a little bit of a roar as they try to just build some type of confidence. EJ Rennell, he'll step up. He looks at a first pitch ball. E.J. Rennell, never been scared to swing the bat. Gets one, turns on it, a little too much, a little too hot right there. It goes foul. Still a little bit of a drizzle, falling. Wind has died down, but still extremely cool out here. Good weather. Now at the plate, he looks at another one low. And now the Bears showing some confidence, showing something at the plate. Looks like they might finally figured out some of the problems they were having. Get going in the right direction here. This one smoked out the right field. It's a long run. What a catch out there in right field. Kuda now going to make the long track back. Gets in safely. Good play out there. Made a bad read on it. Was able to stick the glove up and come through. All right, fielder Jackson Williams. Wow. Nice glove read on that one. Brings up Bryce Stover. One out, runner on first base. Over. He's over for two today. Check on the runner over at first base. Nothing going. Stover swings on it. He's going to poke one out in the right field. It's going to be caught by Williams. He's just caught everything that's been hit over there. As the Bears have done their part trying to get something going but everything hit in that direction has just been inhaled you want to talk about a difference in teams these two teams met off at the beginning of the year as I said and those were both runaway contests for the Bears a couple of grand slams some late runs I mean game one didn't help too much the score didn't really show how close it was as a game, but definitely for the Bears. 
It was a dominating performance, and right now, they're down five. Matt Mackey at the plate, down 0-2. See, they're running out of outs here. Just four of them left to play with, and you're down five. You got to do something. That one's going to be a wild pitch. Bryce Stover's going to, or Wade Coot is going to go on down the second base. Matt Hyatt. He's got two outs here. He's got two strikes. Matt Mackey looking to get out of the inning. Continuing what's been a heck of performance so far for the pitching staff for the Cobras. I just want to mention on early on in this team, these two teams faced off at the beginning of the year. That's 14 to one in favor of the Bears and then 13 to three. The 14 to one contest really got out of hand late. And Matt Mackey swings through one right there. That's a strikeout. Bears again, nothing through six. Going into the top half of the seventh final inning here in this game one on the Bears Sports Network. LR down five to nothing. Did you know Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and a whole lot more? So what are you waiting for? Hip-hop group tag team to help you plan dessert? Aw, fresh vanilla, rocky road, chocolate, peanut butter, cookie dough. Scoop this, scoop this, scoop this, scoop this, scoop shakalaka, 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 scoop shakalaka, 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 Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. Anthony Brown back here with you. Top of the seventh. Game one of a doubleheader. Lovely Tuesday matchup between Coker Cobras and the Lenore Ryan Bears. Austin Belvins. New pitcher on the mound for the Bears. Looking to give them a scoreless frame. They're going to need a big bottom half of the seventh if they want to win this first game. And Blevins. That one. First pitch, and that's an out. Blevins does his part. Taking care of business right there. And now he'll look to do it again.
pitch in there is low to Hall. Count goes one and one. Blood is now. Gets one. That's up in the air. It's going to be a long run over here in Flau territory. McHugh makes the play. Good effort right there. Long run out there by the bullpen wall. But unfazed. Magic Mike out there in left field doing what he does best. Pulling the rabbit out of his hat, making the play. Austin Blevins now. A couple of quick outs. And this is his sixth appearance of the season. All of them again out of the bullpen. If he wants to get a 1-2-3 showing, he's going to have to go through Drew Klausner right now. Big red as the bench calls him. Strike, two outs. Klausner, he's got a walk today, and then he's a couple of ground outs. Not a whole lot of strikeouts today for the Bears pitching staff. It kind of demonstrates how it's a rough day on the mound for them, just unable to really have control when they needed it, it seemed like. A strike right there. Makes the count one and two. So you're one strike away from getting out of this. Gonna need a big six spot in the bottom of the seventh to win this one, five to keep it going as this is a seven inning contest. Long ball, something that the Bears usually specialize on. It's been two of them for the Cobras. A little bit of a change of game. That one, no chase, runs the count even. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here. Trying to reach base for the second time. That one going to be fouled back. Count stays here, two and two, spoiling off a pitch. That's a good looking pitch right there. Unable to get the call. Dugout was about ready to let a roar out. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Payoff pitch on the way. That one's a swing and a miss. That'll do it here. One, two, three. Goes Blevins. Bears now down five. LR needing six here if they want to pull this one out in the bottom half of the seventh on the Bear Sports Network.
Bears down here to their final three outs of this game one. Nick Clarino up at the plate. Their third baseman, he's looking to get a hit here, trying to get something going for the Bears as they need six of them. In the bottom half of this seventh inning if they want to pull out this game one against the Cobras, a team that's grown up a lot since those first matchups in February. That one's going to be turned on. Hit over into a shortstop. One pitch, one out for Chris Watkins. Sophomore making his 11th appearance on the season. 18 innings pitch now. 18 and two thirds pitched here. Brings up Xander Ferlinda. As the Bears are just desperately looking for runs or looking for runners. Just trying to get people on base, do anything they can to just keep the line moving. Ball taken there for Orlando on the day. He's 0 for 2, a couple of ground outs, nothing really going. Then a part of what's been a just a quiet performance all day for the Bears. Queens pulls this one over to third off of one hop. Nice play made right there by Blanco. And a shout out to the defense of the Cobras. They made some mistakes last time I saw them early on in the season. They've grown up. They've answered that. There's a couple of new faces all around on this team. And they've been so clean with the glove so far today. Seems like it's just a completely different team out here. They've taken advantage of their opportunities. Bears now down to their final out here. Only two hits so far. Getting a pinch hitter. Let's see who the Bears are going to use right now. Number 22, Andy Lopez. Number 22, Andy Lopez, will get his first appearance of the game. Andy Lopez, 385, hitter on the season. Getting a chance to step in here, try to see if he can extend the, the bat for the Bears. Nice red gloves. Looks at a first pitch strike, nice and low. The rain's coming down a little bit. Yeah. Lopez gets under one. He's going to send that right out into the outfield. And Lopez does his part, keeps this game going. Then it'll be lifted for a pinch runner. Ethan Smith will come in, but Andy Lopez did his part. Stepped up to the plate, almost like a pro. Shows up, hits the ball, keeps the game moving along. Will Jones now at the plate, trying to do his part. Maybe start a two out rally. Jones, got a walk, stole a base, caught stealing in his last appearance, reached on a fielder's choice as well. So, a lot going on for Will Jones. So that one is a ball. This Bears team, they're not going to go away without a fight. Trying to put a couple people on base, see if they can make something happen here. Had big innings before, especially with two outs. Why not do it for the win? And it takes one high. Oh, that's going to lead to a quick mound visit. Quick visit from the catcher out there. 
Castillo. Maybe a little bit of a mix up. Then throws it on the inside. Misses. Counts 3 and 0 now. Will Jones. It's in a good spot here. And try to take advantage of the count. See if he can just keep the line moving. Bears need five runs to tie, two outs. Now one's going to be a strike. Good pitch up around the waist. 3 1. Let's see if Will Jones will take a swing at this one if it's in the zone. Ethan Smith over at first base. He's got some legs on him. That's why he gets the pinch run job. And Will Jones. Takes another walk there, a little bit high and outside. Keeps it moving. Just keeps the line moving now. And it brings up Mike McHugh. Runners on first and second, two outs. Bears down five here, bottom half of the seventh inning. Down to their final out. And a strike is fired in there. Good job by Chris Watkins. Still got plenty of room to work with, but not a whole lot of room if you're trying to preserve this shutout. Something that I know all pitchers, all defensive players love having. That one's way outside. Try to get a little fancy there with the off-speed pitch. A little, did a little too much with it. And the Bears just trying to keep the line moving, trying to keep making noise, trying to keep something happening. And McHugh, he gets hold of one. It's going to go out to second base. And that'll do it here for game one. The Bears fall five to nothing. Great pitching performances from the Cobras. It started out with Garrett Dunn. And the bullpen did their part to come through, and it was finished off by Chris Watkins. We'll take a short break here on the Bear Sports Network. Everybody will gather themselves, and then we'll come back for game two, which will also be a seven-game set, seven-inning set on the Bear Sports Network. So until then, see ya.